Okay, just a little test here. This outlet is fed now by the transfer switch, which can be fed from the um, inverter or power from the house. When it got, it got down to 12.1 volts and it immediately cut over. Now 13.5, it's supposed to try to switch back to DC. I've got the inverter turned off, so it shouldn't really be seeing any DC power. Let's see if we turn it on. There we go. Drop back down to 13.4, just from the draw on the inverter. 13.5, and at 13.5, it's supposed to switch back over to saying that this will be powered by the battery. So let's see if it waits till 13.6, or where it's got 13.6. Did you hear that? And there we are. It has now switched to going back from the battery. This little transfer switch is working like a charm. It sure doesn't take long for the, uh, I plugged the hairdryer in here, running it to get it down to 12.1, and it switched over to house power. This guy was at absorption, and now he's gone back to bulk charge. Let me try that test for you again so you can see it half, and then we'll leave it be for a while. Inverter is showing 13.8. This guy's showing 13.7. Let's just do this one more time. So you can see how nice and seamless. And I'm plugging this hair dryer. We're currently at 13.8. I'll we'll turn it on. Watch the volts drop. 12.6, 12.5, 12 12.4, 12.3. It's still pulling from the battery. 12.2. And you're going to see the hairdryer doesn't even turn off. Watch this. It's still, now we're down to 12.1. We're getting ready to make the switch. Get plugged in here. Hairdryer is running. We're at 12.1. And actually, I should make this 12.2 so we don't get that alarm, but let's just see. At 12.1. Continue running. It's going to switch over to house power any second now. But the hair dryer won't stop running. 12 12.1, 12.0. There you go. See how the arrow has switched now? This is now going from here, which is from the house, where it was going to the batteries before. And it's going to stay like that now until we get back to 13.5. So you can see the voltage immediately pop back up to 12.7 because there's no longer any load on the batteries. Turn this off. This is amazing. 119 bucks is all it costs. You gotta wire it in, but wow, is that worth it? So 12.9, coming right back up, back to 13.1. This guy is charging on bulk. Good Lord, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing, it works. Holy jamoli. Thank you to Will Prouse at DIY Solar who uh, I discovered this from his website, his uh, YouTube channel. Fantastic option.